We arrived in Kochi late last night in the rain, which carried on all night and into the morning. Despite this, we decided to go to Katsurahama Beach, which is a popular tourist spot. Here there is a statue of Sakamoto Ryoma, who played an important role in ending the feudal system and uniting Japan as a country. Due to strong currents, swimming is prohibited at this beach, but you can see great views of the powerful waves. There is a small aquarium and a shrine here. After a while, the rain stopped and something that looked like ice cream caught our eye. But apparently, this sorbet-like food was actually called ice cream and is made with eggs and milk. Next, we arrived at the Kochi Makino Botanical Garden, which is a massive garden full of many insects and plants. This garden honours Dr. Tomitaro Makino, who is known as the father of Japanese botany and was born and raised in Kochi. There are over 3,000 plant species to discover here. You can see some lovely views of the city too. The outside has lots of pretty winding paths to explore, but what was the most impressive was the enormous greenhouse filled with tropical plants. It feels like a jungle in here, and it was interesting to learn about all the unique plants too. The layout of the garden made it feel very immersive and tranquil. It is one of the best botanical gardens I have visited, so if you enjoy plants as much as me, I would recommend checking it out. There is also a gift shop, cafe and French restaurant which uses fresh local ingredients. But this was unfortunately closed by the time we visited. Next door to this garden is Chikurenji Temple another peaceful Japanese temple that is part of the Shikoku pilgrimage that I mentioned in my previous video. It is the 31st stop of this 88 temple pilgrimage. We finished off at the temple around dinner time and went to Hirome Market for some food. This market is fairly popular and was packed with people, maybe more so than usual as it was a holiday for many Japanese people. So we decided to find a nearby restaurant instead to eat the local dish of seared bonito or katsuo no tataki in Japanese. The thick slices of fish are served with various garnishes and dressings. We ordered some other side dishes and rice along with it. When we finished our dinner, we got in our car to leave Kochi and make our way to Ia Valley, where we will be exploring in my next video. This is probably the best part of our trip, so I'm excited to share with you. <laughs>